Hello, my name is Vermaur and I'm going to show you some aerial photos that was taken of Fukushima power plant at the March 20th and 24th. Uh, the time now, local time in Tokyo, uh, here is the Monday, April 4th and 7.38 in the morning. Here is a photo over the Fukushima power plant, it was taken uh, about what 47 minutes ago. If you are in Japan or if you if you know of somebody in Japan, I know the official uh, exclusion zone is 20 kilometers from the nuclear plant uh, plus the 10. I would recommend everybody to think of the exclusion zone as 80 kilometers to not come closer than 80 kilometers from the power plant and if you're outside of that area do not get any closer doesn't matter that that you have to uh, get something even though you have a billion dollars somewhere in the area forget it here's my channel i hope you all check out my uh, information videos uh, especially edition two uh, there's four parts it's almost one hour um, then I want to I have uh, favorites here also that I want to show you uh, this is this is all information that I would recommend everybody to to check out if, if I see video that I really like that have have good information I put it in my favorites uh, I'm not putting anything but stuff about Fukushima at the moment in my favorites this video is recorded and uploaded in HD graphic and here is the button you have to change up to HD because I'm going to show you photos in very high quality uh, this is the company that took those photos and we have to give them uh, applause for that I have no idea what, what it says here I only understand this but, but thank you for the photos just a little bit for Americans here we have background level in America though they have been detecting a little bit uh, traces of some radiation the background level is completely normal also we have, um, there is a different um, I'm not sure what's called but the background level is uh, completely okay at the moment in, in America but I would uh, everybody on the west coast should have in mind that there is a lot of radioactive uh, water going into the sea at Fukushima and the current in the Pacific Ocean is straight from Japan to the west coast just it's it's I think it's okay at the moment but but have this in mind um, this photo here I was a witness of that uh, they tried to hide this photo and they was they was successful in doing that at Wikipedia they removed it from Wikipedia after the two first explosions and on the basis that this was not correct f picture as far as I know this is exactly what is in Fukushima it's simplified but this is exactly what is in Fukushima here we have the photos you can see uh, that this photo is taken on the 24th because this truck has been parked here and they have cleaned this area here uh, prior to that the high level uh, radiation uh, water it's in the basement of those buildings here, the turbine buildings and I'm going to show you another there's a trench on the other side here it's full of water and also I think there is somewhere over here that they have the problem where, they, where the water is leaking into the sea uh, where they have been trying to put cement and, and all kinds of stuff to stop it you have to have in mind this power plant have had 
earthquake then the tsunami came that is uh, that they think is around seven meters that went over the uh, power plant and then those explosions and, and I mean you can look at all the trash here I'm going to point on some cars this uh, building here uh, they have been talking about that this building caught fire twice on the third floor but if you look if you look at this building the roof is gone uh, behind this are two uh, like flakes or, or something from the building I'm not sure if it is from this building or this uh, I ask uh, they, they reported in news that this building have had explosion but I have not seen any footage of any explosion from this building uh, I can't see any fire damage from this explosion and also uh, I have the data from Japan Atomic Industry Forum and there is no a mention that any explosion have happened inside of this uh, building so what have happened inside this building uh, there is no fuel rods inside the reactor of this building here all the fuel rods are in the pool but we have 300 tons of fuel rods inside uh, the pool here and the crane uh, the small crane there, there are a few cranes big one and small one and small crane that is in fact really big have fallen into the pool and it's sitting on top of the uh, fuel rods okay we have to have in mind that there is there is almost two weeks since those photos were taken taken um, just have to check uh, the other one next one this hole here happened after this exploded this is three here four two and one here is the trenches that are full of water you can see here is a truck that have uh, been crushed by the tsunami uh, probably here is a one another one that is uh, on its side here is one inside the trench there is a car another one here uh, I found a photo and I have been analyzing these uh, pictures that much that I found out that uh, the picture was taken inside here this is all damage on on this side here and it's taken in this direction uh, this if you look at back in the re reactors there are like two uh, how do you say it floor or or yeah if you look at that it's this one this is one two and then I think it's about five under that so if you this is one two three and there is building here so this is not the best photo back in this maybe okay one two three uh, at least four and five if it was five in total okay um, I'm just thinking about there are a lot of cranes here here is a big one and here and here and here and here is a huge one what what were they doing with all those cranes this is this is something that uh, had been here before the earthquake okay come on I can't go anymore here okay you can see something has exploded here completely um, so this part here is completely gone you can see it like this okay uh, here is just another better one here is a f aerial photo this dome here the yellow, yellow ball thing here you can see how big it is here's a big crane it it would almost go over the crane here okay 
this is this uh, dome here it's the outer uh, reactor dome it's not the where the fuel rods itself are uh, some have thought that uh, this is completely moved and something in some of the uh, reactors but if you see it this should be black not red uh, as it is here in the photo but this is yellow just like in the photo this was uh, put here before prior to the earthquake okay it's a little bit uh, hard to show it like this you have to completely it's maybe better to just turn the pictures yeah this is better okay we have it you can see down into the reactor here here is the fuel uh, cooling fuel pool so this is exactly the hole here to to move the fuel rods up and down the hole is here you can see it better here okay i'm going to check out another picture those are the trenches here and you can see the oil here and here are the fire trucks why are they here? that's because they were first planning on having them somewhere here but there was so much uh, trash here that they couldn't put the cars here they had to lead the water lines and they even one of the first cars that came here they had to uh, manually put the line from here and to the reactor number one so that was uh, 100 kilos um, fuel line and they had to do it manually uh, comparison you can see this I don't know if it's the office building or what this is four floors here and this building is just small comparison to the reactor building uh, go to the next photo here you can see this is completely damaged here and I mean this hole here I have been checking into this hole and you are not able to see exactly oh no you're just not able to see what have made this hole here as you see here you 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 can't see anything and here is a truck just to uh, see the size of this here is the uh, fuel pool uh, leak spinner he thought this was uh, some melted stuff I think it is uh, rather some of the equipment uh, much of the equipment is uh, green and you can see under here this you can see this here it's this crane here okay this is uh, reactor building number two and then there is this reactor number building one the roof have not completely gone and I think uh, the crane big crane is here you can see how the crane uh, is held up by those big uh, I don't know what's called I'm almost almost 50, 15 minutes so